Hey guys, it's Josh from Josh Things Up. I wanted to let you know that I was kind of just doing a mid beginning month check in for June on my finances. I'm kind of going to begin to discuss where my debt was um, so that way we can kind of see how it has been affected over the past couple of weeks and kind of the things that we have done better on. I will say that there has been a death in the family, so spending was kind of out of the question and I knew I had to do it. So we will go over that with the monthly envelopes here in a second, but I kind of wanted to just kind of check in with how we've been doing so far from May 9th up until now, um, the beginning of June. So to begin, I wanted to go over where my debt was and kind of where everything is on May 9th. My car, um, which is new, has $26,265.04 on it. It's a brand new car. I kind of just pay the bills on that because I feel like it's a necessity. So I kind of just have that bill there. The bill itself is $6.55 a month. So that's kind of how that goes monthly. Macy's, I do have a credit card with them. It currently has $2,114.59 on it. That's kind of just reckless spending. Um, when I became a teacher, I felt like I needed to update my wardrobe, so I would kind of just spend recklessly at Macy's with dress shoes and pants and blazers. Um, I do wear it, but it did add up, so um, I kind of still have debt there. Capital One, uh, I do have a credit card with them. It was maxed out at 1200 uh, that was also reckless spending. Most of it was food, um, but then some of it was college books as well. I think maybe about 600 was college books. Credit one um, was again when I was in college. It was kind of just how I got odds and ends. So it had 739 and 73 cents on it. City has been the longest credit card that I've had. Um, it currently has 3,419 and 65 cents on it. That was college, strictly college. It was gas um, for commuting, it was eating, it was fun, it was everything that has to do with college. So that has 3,419 and 65 cents on it from there. Aviator was one of those cards that I got because I did travel a lot and the airplane miles added up. Um, I don't find it very beneficial now um, as the card itself is a hundred bucks uh, a year to kind of just keep it activated so I'm trying to get rid of that. That has three thousand nine hundred and forty eight and eighty four cents on it. Bank of America was when I was 19. I had a credit card of 2000 um, and then I think it got bumped up to 4000. It has now been shut down and it still has 1,658 and four cents on it. That was kind of just reckless spending. Like I can't even tell you cause it's been so long, but I know that it was very, very reckless of things that like I really didn't need. Um, in February, I had a medical bill that was 2,500 that my mom fronted me the money. Um, so I kind of have that just as a personal debt, not really as a financial debt. Um, the total for everything that I had was $41,845.89. That covers everything. On the cards and the personal loans itself, it was $15,580.85. As the car is going to be one of the things that I just pay monthly to month on. Um, again, I find it a necessity, so I kind of just take that bill as it comes. Um, I will say when it comes from May 9th to June now, I do live with my parents um, and I do have a full-time job and it's summer so I'm kind of able to kind of hibernate um, as much as possible so I have a lot of no spend days and things like that so when it comes to paying on some credit cards I'm able to make some very big leaps and those were um, as you can see three of my debts were completely paid off. Um, Macy's has now 2,171 and one cents on it, um, with an interest of 56.42. So it's down, but it still went back up because of interest. Capital One was no more, Credit One was no more, so I was able to throw down the full amount of those cards and be done with them. 
City now has three thousand four hundred and eighty one and twenty five cents um, with an interest of sixty one sixty. So it went up a little bit just because of interest. Aviator has three thousand forty two dollars and fifty nine cents, um, meaning that it is down nine hundred and six and twenty five cents uh, based on the last check in on May 9th. Bank of America has one thousand six hundred and ninety four and four cents, and the addition came from a late fee because I was late on paying it of thirty nine dollars, and then I was able to pay back my mom, which again now has no debt. So the last check in was at fifteen thousand five hundred and eighty and eighty five cents, and that was just in the cards and personal loans. This check in it is down to ten thousand three hundred and ninety one and eighty nine cents. So that's a negative difference of $5,188.96. Again, I'm able to make these big payments because I live with my parents and I'm kind of able to hibernate with work. So I'm not driving anywhere, I'm not buying as much food because I don't have to get lunch, that sort of thing. Um, as far as my monthly budget is going, um, it kind of took a hit. A lot of it was food and gas going back and forth from the cemetery. Um, because my grandmother passed away, I was doing the hair, so I had to go and drive over and do that. I had to drive over and take the dress. I had to drive over and make final adjustments before the actual viewing and funeral of the body. And then the funeral itself to the church and then to the burial site. It was all a lot of driving. So that's really where most of my funds took a hit. Um, gas, I did budget a little bit more rather than the 180 that it usually has. It had 220. That's because I am taking a trip to Tyler next week, so I feel like the extra money for gas is what I'm going to need. Um, right now it has $180 in it, so it's okay. Food surprisingly wasn't touched, um, but that's because that's for when I go out with friends and entertainment. It still has $100 in it, so it's fine. Um, what I did take out of was tips. It usually has $40 at the beginning of the month, um, but it went to the reception for the funeral to pay for the food. So we kind of just all put money in there as a family. So my $40 went directly to that. Fun is $150 at the beginning of the month. It now has $112. I'm 95% sure that did not go to fun. It went to food or gas or the odds and ends that I needed for this past couple of weeks. Um, my school and office fund has 100. Since I'm not in the school season, I just put it directly into savings, so it has nothing. My buffer of $40, um, again, went to odds and ends, gas, food, uh, coffee, breakfast, that sort of thing that we had to buy on the go just for uh, things to get through the day. Um, and it currently has nothing. Uh, my savings account personally went from 250 uh, mid-May to now 580 so that's an increase of $330 uh, um, with only a $0.36 cent, um, off of interest as it is a high-yield savings account in the month of May. So it currently has 500 and 80. I will say that the... Uh, big thing for me that I have added in regards to my personal binder is I did add a back to card slip so that way if I do have to use any of my credit cards mostly it's my capital one um, personal savings that's separate from the savings account it's the checking account that goes along with the savings account um, I can take the money out of these envelopes and put them into here, and then I can put them back into the account that they came from when I can get there. Uh, right now, the closest ATM that I have is at Target, so that's nice. I do have a couple of quarters in here. I haven't counted them, but that's going to go into the stash for the kids when I get back to the school year. Um, again... I have made some major improvements, life has happened, and we're kind of just sailing right now, and we're going to see what kind of June end up, ends up to be at the beginning of July. So I will check back with you guys then. Thanks so much for tagging along.